Hello everybody, please open your student's book, page 86, okay? Now there is a reading part here and online forums about online forum and look at the photos and read the introduction to the online forum and there are two questions what's a long weekend which plan do you think you would prefer okay look at the photos and then i'm reading uh, the online forum please follow me okay plans for the long weekend no school on monday so this weekend's going to be a long one post your plans for the weekend below Michelle Green, year 9. Lunch with my parents on Saturday, but the next year I'm going to meet my friends at the open air ceramic pool. There is something for everyone there, there, everyone there, and we always have a good time. If you want to swim, the water's warm. If you want to sit in, sun, in the sun, there is always somewhere to put your towel. And if you get thirsty, you can have something to drink at the cafe. Okay, the other one, Ruhun Patel, year 10. I play the guitar in, the band, in a band with three friends. If you haven't got anything better to do, we are playing two concerts this weekend. The first one is on Saturday at 6 p.m. in the school hall and tickets are free. Come and join us. And the last one, Suzy Palawaskai. Uh, year 9, I'm going to the library on Saturday with my classmates. No, not to, not to read books. There is an exhibition for students to show their photos and Misha's taken some amazing ones of our school trip. We are having a party afterwards in the cafe. Why don't you come? Uh, read the packet, please. The world's largest open-air swimming pool is in Chile. It is more than one kilometer long. That's the size of 20 Olympic swimming pools. Wow. Okay. Uh, I will give background for you. Uh, a long weekend is the phrase used to describe a weekend in which either the Friday or the Monday is a public holiday. Long weekends in the UK are associated with what are known as bank holidays. That's uh, a public holiday which is so named due to the banks being legally obligated to close on those days. Okay. What about you? Do you go out with your friends or family on public holidays? Hmm? Where do you go and what do you do? Hmm? For example, meet friends in cafe or have a picnic or go for a walk or visit relatives or do activities. Hmm? Which one? What do you do? Well, uh, do you go with your friends or family? Okay. Okay, look at the first part. Uh, there was, there were two questions for you. What is a long weekend? Which plan do you think would you prefer? Okay, you can write here. I mentioned uh, before a weekend in which either the Friday or the Monday is a holiday. Right, please. A weekend in which either the Friday or the Monday is a holiday. Aşağı açabilirim. Onu durdurup yazarken ben de üçüncü bölüm açayım. Okay, now uh, we will write M for Michelle, R for Ron, or S for Susie. Okay, there are six questions. Let's answer. One. Who is spending time with their family? Hmm? Yes, with spending time. Red pencil, I'm taking red pencil. Michelle, of course, well done. Okay, two, who is going somewhere with their class? Susie, well done. Who is doing something in their school? Rahun, well done. 
for who is going somewhere in outside Michelle well done five who is going to have fun in their cafe Susie very good and who is inviting you to listening to music yes of course Rahun good well done okay uh, look at the part four explore expression with have have ile birlikte kullandığımız kalıpları e, bulacağız look at the text again textin içerisinden three expression with have evet. üç tane varmış üç tanesini bizden bulmamız istiyor sınıftayken de hatırlarsanız yaklaştırıp yapardık Hemen yaklaştıralım. Evet, siz de bir göz gezdirin. Bakalım önce kim bulacak? İlk tekstten başlayalım. Şöyle yukarı bakalım. Bazen büyük başlıkların içine de saklanıyorlar. Değil mi? Evet, burada hepsiyle alakalı bir şey yok. Geldik buraya. Bakalım. Yes, here. Have a good time. Yes, underline. The expression would have. Have a good time. What else? One. Mm -hmm. One. Two. Yes, go on. Here. Have something to drink. Have something to drink. It's an expression. Two. Yes, last one. If you haven't got anything, have got. Bu expression sayılıyor muydu? Evet diyenler yanıldılar. Hemen bunun altını çizenler çarpı koysunlar. Have got değildi. Bazen bu karışıklığı yapıyorduk sınıfta da ama bizden istenilen have ile birlikte kullanılan kalıpları soruyor. Have got ayrı bir şeydi. Biraz daha devam edelim. Üçüncüyü bulacağız. Yes, here. Have a party. Party var Three. Super. Okay. Now five. Part five. Write sentences about you with have, and one of the words in the box. Evet, aşağıda kutudaki kelimeleri kullanarak e, have ile alakalı kendi cümlelerimizi yazıyoruz. Örneğe bakalım. I had a good time at my friend's party last week. Evet, party kullanmış. Başka bir şekilde. Ee, siz yazın a shower, a rest, a problem, a meal kelimelerini kullanabilirsiniz veya buradan başka bir tane de e, yazmak istiyorsanız yazabilirsiniz. Okay, it's your homework. And six, what can you do in your town on a long weekend? Write three ideas. Okay. What can you do in your town on a long weekend? It is your homework also. And you, for example, you can meet your friends at the shopping center. And you can have a drink in a cafe. Okay? Write three ideas. It is your homework. Please write your, uh, write on your notebook. Don't forget it. Okay? Please. And send me. Okay, thank you.